I said, put the bunny back in the box. So let's, before we go, let's take a look and see what I carry in this 421. Come on over here. So we got the wing locker. On here, I got tons of stuff. Uh, rudder lock, face mask, of course. Oil, fuel tester, chalk, disinfecting wipes, window cleaner. I carry a uh, air compressor, tool kit, spark plugs, all the things that you're allowed to do as an owner. Spark plugs, oil change, a lot of rags, a lot of gloves, screwdriver, uh, flags here, like what's up here for the wicks. Take that off while we're at it. And uh, that's what I carry that's easily accessible. Let's go to the front and I'll show you what's in the nose. Got a uh, bug out bag, cotter pins for uh, changing tires, which uh, a, a owner is allowed to do change your tires. And I uh, need a cotter pin when you take the wheel off, so I got aviation cotter pins. So I got in here a bunch of tools and spare parts. I have a starter, which I carry because you never know when you're going to have a good engine with a starter that doesn't work. You find yourself an uh, AP mechanic, get the starter replaced. We've got a case of oil here just to have it, some place to store it. Inside the tool kit are a 24 volt jumper, um, spare tire, spare tube. There is also a jumper cables. And in the nose here, got um, a first aid kit. In case you got to do a DB Cooper, you know, and jump out of the plane. Uh, I also carry um, spare tire with a tube. That's for the uh, nose. And I also have a spare tire and a tube with a main because let's say you go somewhere and you have a bad tire. You maybe the valve stem broke on your tube, and you find a mechanic who can change the tire, but it's a Saturday and he can't get a tire until Monday, Tuesday at the earliest, you're grounded. So with these, you can say, hey, I got a tire, I got a tube, and uh, you can be on your way. So we've checked the oil, holds 13 quarts, we run it. I like to be at 10, but it likes to like level back around nine. So that's what that is. Uh, we're fully de-iced, fully known ice. You got your uh, stall warning horn, heated, de-iced boots, on the roots, on the tail, vertical stabilizer, heated windshield. I think it's time to go flying. I'm completely operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. Today, after I get set up and cruise, I wanted to go through the entire panel from left to right. I uh, should have time for that, just to show you all the features uh, on this plane. And it might be something that you, know, you might look for and say, yeah, I'd like to have that. I always wonder what that was. What does that do? So I'll go through the whole panel and I'm gonna use this camera as I call the Rover camera and take it off of its pedestal and uh, and move it around. All right, we just uh, leveled off here, 4,500. Let's take a trip around the panel here, starting with, uh, to my left, these are all the circuit breakers, the uh, lights for the master, and the here's the showing, a, so here's where we're confused here. We're showing left alternator, and we're showing a charge, but yet the left alternator light is on. Uh, show, so that's that. So that's the switch. 
that'll show you uh, what you're charging on. And then uh, there's the starter and the fuel switches. There's the fuel pumps. These are the uh, one alligator, two alligator switches. One alligator, two alligator. Turn those off. And then these are the magneto switches. Here, you have the pressurization system for the aircraft. The left one shows the pressurization of the cabin with the big hand, and the little hand would show the differential. The right shows the cabin altitude. Bottom left is your vacuum gauge, and the right shows how much is in the oxygen tank, the, uh, the emergency oxygen tank. Now, here's the enunciator panel. Let me back up a little bit. So you push to test the enunciator panel, and you see how they all light up. This is all of your enunciator panel. So here's the radar altimeter switch, which is here. And then the fuel transfer switch, which transfers fuel from the left tank, which is sitting out there on that wing. And it sends it out to the main, which is in the, uh, in the wing. Here's my Davtron timer. This is the ELT switch. Uh, I believe it's a 406 ELT, which gives out uh, position. Airspeed indicator, which also has a true airspeed uh, indicator on it. Here's the pre-select, showing 4,500. If I zoom in, does the flash go away? Yeah, a little bit. So 4,500. Here's a radar altimeter. Uh, the way you test that, push the button, it goes around. Here's the uh, G600, everybody knows about. This is your required artificial horizon attitude indicator that's needed when you have the other uh, when you have this in there as glass. Now, I, I forgot to mention, on this, next to the uh, pressurization, there's the knob that tells you what to set your pressure at for what altitude you're at. And then this will depressurize the cabin with uh, sending it out the rear. The ram dump, this, will stop the air, pressurized air from coming into the cabin. If you don't have air conditioning and it's a hot day, you, you do that. Here are the switches. Alternate air is here. Over here, we got the seat belt sign for the passengers, oxygen sign, and the door light. Air conditioner controls here. This window here, I have no idea what it's for. I think it was to hold a little placard, maybe to tell you what your tail number was. Guys, uh, 54, 24. Backup altimeter, which is needed. 25, 4, guys, 54, 24. This is the indicator panel for the autopilot, which is down here on the quadrant. This is the KFC 200, not Kentucky Fried Chicken 200, but the uh, King Flight Controls 200 with the yaw dampener. And then this switch sets your heading or GPS. Uh, coming over to here, let's just go across the top real quick because it's all pretty rudimentary. Manifold pressure, RPMs, Fuel flow, which is inaccurate. The primary on this puppy is the uh, Shaden, which is here. Top one shows your uh, miles per gallon. Bottom one shows how many gallons per hour each one is running at. And it correlates right to the engine instruments. I'm going to zoom in, try to get rid of the flashing. And it doesn't work. So take my word for it. 1529 on the TIT and 1547 on the right TIT, and then if I get them scanning, I'll push them over, hold it till you see the word scan, let go, and then it'll scan. As long as it's moving, that means everything's working well. Left engine gauges, right engine gauges. Here's the audio panel. It's a GMA 35A, it has Bluetooth, as you can see there, and Here's a GTN 750, and here's a GTN 750 on the co-pilot side. Here are the uh, spoilers or the speed brakes control right there. Here's the gear control right there, and then underneath this, which we don't touch, that's your uh, emergency gear that uh, blows nitrogen bottle down and blows your gear down. There's no crank on this plane. 
Here's all the switches for the lighting. Day or night on the left, and then the rheostats for the panel. The quadrant, of course, you know all about that. This is trim for the aileron. This is for the elevator, and this is for the rudder trim. And I told you before, here's the uh, autopilot controls. I mentioned the uh, Electronic International scanners. Here's my two transponders. I'll, I get a lot of questions. Um, why two transponders? Well, the, most of these planes were made for charter or revenue, and they don't want a bad transponder to uh, cause them not to have a revenue-paying flight. This is a control for the HSI over here, or the uh, attitude of the uh, DG over here. So it, we don't use that much. Here's the heater controls. You want to send defrost, aft cabin, front cabin. I have them open. Now, oh, I forgot the most important thing on this whole panel. Cup holders. Got one here. Got one here. Okay, that's really important. They had to be modified a bit to not keep a drink from going through. Very important. Okay, over to the way on the right side. So let me uh, get over here. Fuel gauges. That shows the mains. Uh, there is no auxiliaries on this plane. It's simply that one uh, third tank. This is the six pack on the right side. So one, two, that's the attitude indicator um, to the right. Airspeed to the left, altimeter, vertical speed indicator, outside air showing 73 right now. That's your glove box. Here's the uh, fire extinguishers there. You push into test to the checklist. You might have heard me go for it. You flip those doors up and uh, you do that. On the right side, that's the air conditioner vents. And last but not least, I got the wet compass here on the top. And then here, you can see the one red button here, red button here. It's part of the um, heated windshield. Yeah, North Cap 4 3 actually, we're going to start. So right that here. is uh, all of the panel. And then who is it called? Uh, Skyline 8843 x right. Showing everything that you can control from uh, the cockpit. You know, some people think it's, you know, how do you keep track of everything? Well, if you can compartmentalize everything and just know what's what and where and all of that, it's not hard. You know, if you want to learn something, you're going to learn it. Oh, you know what I forgot is the, uh, I forgot the stuff on the yoke. Let's do that again. You have your electric trim here. You have your push to talk switch here. So that's how I talk to the, to to the controllers. On this side is the autopilot disconnect and the control wheel steering which uh, temporarily disconnects the autopilot so you can steer the airplane. And on top is the light for uh, underneath, so you can get light underneath. So now that's all of it. So now that shows everything that uh, is sitting right in front of us. So I'm going to put the uh, iPad back. I like it in front of me. I'm used to it. Good backup. So if, as I pull in the traffic screen, look at all the traffic. Same thing here. If I, if I pull in, or pull out, um, you can see tons of traffic. Last look at the three grains. And a greaser. Okay, we are at the hangar. We're going to turn the avionics off. Mixture is cut off. And what we were trained was mixture mags master, key over and out, and on top. No key. We are done. Everything, everything, that's all, folks.